Do you suffer from persistent sadness, emptiness, or hopelessness, fatigue, or loss of energy? What about difficulty falling asleep despite being tired, waking up frequently during the night, or trouble getting back to sleep when awakened? If you have any of these symptoms, you're going to want to watch this. Why? Because I'm going to be revealing to you the number one supplement all women should be taking. And this supplement could greatly reduce those symptoms I just mentioned. I'll also share with you the other benefits this supplement offers and how much of it to take. Plus, stick around to the end as I'll be showing you where you can get the best form of the supplement. Hi, I'm Dr. Parthen Andy. I'm a practicing physician for over 20 years and I see hundreds of patients who are seeking natural ways to take charge of their health. I call them health heroes. Hey, if you're someone looking for natural ways to take charge of your health journey, then click the like button below and don't forget to subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of the health hero community. So let's get into it. So what is this magical supplement, right? It may surprise you to find out it's magnesium. And I believe it's one of the best supplements a woman can take for overall health because the fact is most of us have a magnesium deficiency. In fact, according to multiple studies, it's been found that up to 75% of the population isn't getting enough magnesium. And why is that? Not only are we not getting enough of it from the foods we eat, but age and other factors can cause a woman to be low on magnesium. This lack of magnesium is being called the invisible deficiency. Now, invisible because most women don't even know they aren't getting enough magnesium. So what is magnesium and why is it so important to a woman's health? To be very technical here, magnesium is an essential NMDA receptor modulator, regulating the actions of the excitatory neurotransmitter glutamate. It is also critical for producing cellular energy and SAME, the body's major methyl donor and precursor to essential agents like neurochemicals, fatty acids, and antioxidants. The magnesium is also known to participate in over, get this, 300 enzymatic reactions in the body. Recent research has identified 3,751 binding sites for magnesium on human proteins. In a nutshell, adequate magnesium allows the body to function optimally, and a lack of magnesium or low levels of magnesium in the body can cause limitless issues such as depression, low energy, high blood pressure, diabetes, insomnia, eclampsia in pregnant women, postpartum depression, kidney issues, and so many more. So let's take a closer look at some of these problems and the important role that magnesium plays. Magnesium has been found to help regulate neuronal function through calcium flux in and out of cells and potentially plays a huge role in optimal thyroid function. You have to know that an underactive thyroid is a known cause of depression. And this is why magnesium has been found to be a rapidly effective intervention for some folks with depression. A magnesium deficiency has also been linked to an increased risk of developing osteoporosis in postmenopausal women. And what about when you're on your cycle each month? How about those lovely cramps and headaches, right? Magnesium plays a role in your time of the month as well. And in fact, many women have low magnesium levels as they enter pregnancy. This depletion also happens when women deliver a baby and breastfeed, which is probably why a large number of women may even experience postpartum depression. Again, their magnesium levels may be depleted. In a randomized blinded crossover trial, magnesium with B6 was effective in relieving PMS-related anxiety and menstrual migraines. In another trial, women with PMS experienced improvement in mood and pain by the second month when they took magnesium. How about another study of women consuming this mineral every day? Magnesium was demonstrated to have anti-inflammatory properties. Magnesium also plays a crucial role in the absorption of other minerals and vitamins such as vitamin D absorption. So how can we consume magnesium? And magnesium can be found in certain foods such as green leafy veggies that we love, nuts, beans, peas, soybeans, and even whole grain cereals. But because the American diet doesn't include high levels of these foods, most women are not consuming enough magnesium through food. The interesting thing to note as well is that magnesium can also be depleted in your body by stress, alcohol, sugar, and sodas. Knowing that, does this cycle sound familiar? You're tired because you can't sleep, so 
Your low energy makes you stress, which makes you binge eat food that's high in sugar and indulge in alcohol, which then makes you tired. Once again, that cycle could be relieved greatly with higher amounts of magnesium in your body. So we know you're not getting enough of this mineral from food, which means taking it in supplement form may be the best option. As far as the amount you should be taking, the recommended dietary allowance for most women varies, ranging from 360 milligrams in your teenage years to 320 milligrams for women over 50. However, women who are pregnant or lactating can greatly benefit from higher doses of up to 400 milligrams. So with so many options out there for supplements, what's the best form to take? I would caution you, as with all supplements, to read the entire label on the bottle you're reaching for and ask your healthcare provider before starting any supplements. Most magnesium supplements use only a single source of magnesium, which can easily overwhelm a single pathway of absorption and limit the uptake of high-dose magnesium regimens. I would highly recommend a multi-formula magnesium essentials that has three unique forms of highly absorbed magnesium. This ensures maximal absorption of this important macro mineral. As far as when to take the supplement, really any time of day is fine. What some people like to do is divide doses throughout the day, one with each meal or even one in the morning and one at night. As magnesium is also great for insomnia, taking one at night may be very beneficial to calm you before you sleep. Now you can take it a step further if you are struggling with insomnia by incorporating an Epsom salt bath into your nightly routine. This helps warm the body and provides a healthy dose of this sought after mineral. Now this wonder supplement may seem like a secret that has been revealed to you, but the truth is conventional medicine is well aware of the power of this nutrient. Magnesium has been used in hospitals for decades to help with constipation, heart arrhythmia, seizures, and contractions in pregnancy. Unfortunately, this vital information surrounding magnesium seems to get lost when you're sitting with your doctors and they're behind their desk and speaking to you, the patient. Of course, magnesium is great for both genders, but we also need to acknowledge our major differences in what men and women's bodies go through. Therefore, each gender can require various amounts of vitamins, minerals, and supplements. And by adopting a balanced diet, which is rich in magnesium and considering supplementation when necessary, women can support their overall health and well-being. So which supplement brand do I recommend? I actually created Magnesium Essentials. I'd love for you to try it and let me know what you think of it. If you have more questions about magnesium, comment below and I'd love to answer those for you. If you have other health-related questions, hey, please post them below and I can also answer them or even make a video about them. Stay tuned, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.